things I did in addition to dis 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 dismissing those two young men is yesterday I talked to them about leadership and trying to put the onus of responsibility a little bit more on, on the team. So one of the things we did yesterday as a team is we voted for captains, permanent team captains for our team because as May comes and the majority of our staff is going to be on the road every single day and I'm going to be going you know, throughout the state of Kansas to, speaking to a bunch of alumni clubs, there will be very little guidance on hand on a, da on a daily basis. All right, um, so we voted yesterday in the defense. It was a landslide, um, a landslide victory for Tobin. So uh, Tobin will be the defensive captain. Uh, it's really an honor the fact that you know, the guys are confident in me to be able to lead this team, and along with Tanner and Dane, it's, just, it's really a nice honor for me. Offensively in this election year was too close to call um, between Dane and Tanner. So Dane and Tanner will both represent the offense. It won't, it won't be just Dane, it won't be just Tanner. So it'll be tri-captains of Tobin, uh, Dane, and Tanner. You know, it's, it's great knowing that your team supports you. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's just, it's just a title. I mean, there's, there's not a whole lot besides I'm just this. I'll be the same guy. Um, you know, I'll come to work every day the same way that I had been prior to being named a captain. And, um, you know, it's great, you know, hearing those things. But at the same time, we've got, we've got work to do. I mean, it's great. I mean, uh, to think that your teammates vote for you as a captain of the team, I mean, it's definitely an honor. Um, you know, they kind of look up to you and look at you as someone that kind of gets the team going, gets them motivated and whatnot. So, yeah, it's a definite honor. I don't think it's fair for a guy coming in in June to be able to be picked a captain. They have not paid the price that these guys have paid since, the, since Hosopel started the weight program in January. Now's the, time. now's the time I need the leadership. I don't need it in June. I need it now. I need it in May when the coaches are on the road recruiting. I need it now when I'm flying to place to place to go you know, speak at luncheons and dinners. My favorite, by the way. I really enjoy that. Okay, but uh, I, need, I, need, I need guidance. I need, I need you know, veteran guidance for these players to make sure there's somebody there saying, hey, don't do that. You know, why would you do this? Well, first and foremost, you know, we, we have a lot of off-the-field issues that have been happening, guys getting dismissed, and I think that's one of the first things that, that needs to be immediately addressed. And, uh, you know, it's definitely something I'll take responsibility of, whether that's watching out for guys on and off the field and whether guys go out or, you know, just trying to be able to be there for them and help them make better decisions. I mean, really, that's just we got to take more of a responsibility as players to, to look out for, for other guys and make sure that um, we're holding each other accountable. Um, you know, that's, it, that's what you got to do to be a good teammate. Obviously, we've had a couple of unfortunate incidents in the past couple of weeks, but I mean, just letting guys know, like, hey, like, we're, we're focusing on the season. We've got to make sure that we do things right, not only on the field, but off the field as well, and in the classroom, and just kind of making sure guys are doing the right thing and just looking out for each other, basically, and <clears throat> making sure, obviously, everyone knows that, hey, we got this um, one common goal with each other, being a team. and with the season and everything, just making sure that they're staying on the right, right, good path. So, and I'm saying each one of these kids, you you want them to be successful. You want none of them to fail. But at the same time, sometimes they put you in a, you know, it's up to you, big boy. You know, it's time to grow up. Either you act like a young man, or you move on. You know, I I, I believe that. It's very telling for Tobin to be picked for a captain two years in a row. I think that that's a, that's a very strong statement by your peers. I, mean, I feel like you know, we want to go against top competition all the time. Me and Tanner make sure we always go against one another, and I think it should be that way from every position. You know, Find a person that you want to compete against, and it will really make both of them better. Uh, he and I just click very well, just naturally, I mean, off the field. Um, you know, we've... Uh, got a, a cool relationship, and um, you know he's a good guy. So it, it's you can it's it's nice being around guys like that. And um, you know he's he's definitely you know we bounce stuff off each other all the time. You know we're competitive on the field and off the field. You know we're always picking each other's brain and, and doing things like that. So that's nice to have a guy on defense that you know as a counterpart that you can kind of uh, go at and, and talk. You know um, kind of some upper level thinking. I think Tanner, who's been starting here forever, I think it's great that that the players didn't just, just didn't automatically just everyone vote for Dane. 
you know, because that would be the assumption that most most people had. But really, it was too close to call. Also, I, I look at it too with, I mean, we have a bunch of fifth-year senior guys coming in. I mean, they're here with us as well, like Trevor and Dwayne and Kale and Damon. They're all in the offensive huddle with us as well. And, I mean, they're, to me, I mean, they could have been easily been chosen as captains as well. And um, they're obviously going to be there, be those fifth-year guys that, um, pretty much looked like his captains as well. I voted for Tanner, so um, you know I think that uh, he's a, a great guy, um, an, another guy on offense that um, you know with as much as the offensive line and skill are kind of split up in practice. I mean it's great that um, you've got another guy leading those guys down when you know I'm away on offense or things like that, and I can do it vice versa for Tanner with the skill guys. So um, you know it, it's great having him on offense, and, and again you know Tobin on defense. I mean just both quality guys and guys that. You know, if you had to point out leaders on the team, I mean, those are two guys you'd, you'd look at. Now, there's two types of leadership. Okay, there's good leadership and there's bad leadership. You know, that bad leadership is, usually translates into locker room lawyers, which you've heard that phrase before. And those are the guys that kind of, they want to complain about every little thing, and they're looking for an entourage to, to, to complain to. Well, the only problem is with the number of players that have been dismissed, that entourage is very small right now. So there's more of that good leadership going on than that bad leadership. And I think that once you get to that point right there, you're starting to turn the corner. You know, I, I wouldn't call it a glorified scrimmage because it's going to be more competitive than I, I would think. No, we're actually going to play, we'll actually play a game. You know, we won't show everything, obviously. We won't use every personnel group due to, you know, due to the lack of numbers. I mean, but we'll come out and run it and throw it and, you know, uh, you know, we'll play action, we'll drop back, you know, we'll hold some things just so that, you know, you just leave, leave some questions. You're, spring game? Yeah, that you're looking forward to. Gotta stay healthy. You know, it's the last thing you want to do is lose a guy in the spring game. I mean, it's, it's great to, you know, get out there and, and have fans around, but at the end of the day, you want to just – you have guys get out of that game healthy. Yeah, definitely. He wants to divide the roster up as even as possible. He hasn't told us what team we're on yet, so guys are kind of anxious to see where they're going to end up. But it'll definitely have a different feel to it than the last few spring games. Uh, just be efficient. I mean, I know that's kind of gray and vague for you, but um, you know that's kind of the goal you have every time you step out as a quarterback. I mean, you want to be as efficient as possible, and um, obviously that's 100%. You know, as a quarterback, so I mean, you're striving for protect for perfection in everything that you're doing, and. Um, you just want to be as efficient as, as possible in you know, your throws and making the right checks and uh, just putting the team in the best situation at all times. Um, I mean, just showing that we've made progress throughout the spring and um, just kind of putting, putting our best day together as a, as a unit, um, just showing that uh, we got grass, grass offense as a whole and just kind of showing that we've progressed not only to the fans but to ourselves. And, uh, really just uh, continue to take steps forward. I think uh, we've made a lot of strides since the beginning of spring, and as long as we can show that on Saturday, I think that'll be you know, an accomplishment itself rather than taking steps backwards.